Hey everybody and welcome to the End Channel video blog. And today what I want to talk about is this robot arm. Now I know I did this last week, but last week what I asked is, what should I do with it? And I had a great amount of responses. You know, I should donate it to a school, I should keep it and develop my own controller, and all these cool responses. But then one comment really stood out. And they said I should donate it to a maker shop. And I said, that's a really good idea. The people that want this are going to have access to it. And I really wanted that to happen. So what I do, went to Google and typed it in. There's no maker shop anywhere remotely close to where I live. And I know it does sound a little bit greedy, but I would like to have access to this as well if I'm going to donate to a maker shop. So what I've decided to do is to start my own maker shop. Now, the way I want to do this is have it completely open and accessible to everybody in the public. And I figured one of the best venues to do that would be our local library. Um, it would just be a really cool thing to actually have an open access lab where people can do this. So what I've decided to do is start it. Now what i got here are some various letters to people of the library, my MP, uh, the city of Brantford's mayor, and I'm really hoping this idea takes off. Now just for a quick little lesson on Brantford's history is we actually host the founder of the telephone. His name was Alexander Graham Bell, and that's one of the ideas that I think is really going to get this going. Because Brantford is obviously obsessed with the, you know, our proud history of developing the telephone. And we really do worship the idea. I mean, we have museums and all this fun stuff. A lot of things are named after them. But the fact is, we really don't do anything to develop the idea of learning and technology. So that's what I'm really trying to propose here, is that the city of Brantford begins to act on our great history. And actually develop more things like that. And what I really want this project to become is an open access learning thing. Basically, from someone who's just wanting to get in electronics, like let's just say grade 7 who just got a Lego Mindstorm set, to the old guy who's been working with ham radios for 70 years and just loves the hobby and wants to contribute to the young people actually learning this. And that's what I want to do, is really start a community inside of this town that really values the idea of education. And I think the fact that we have Alexander Graham Bell is a really cool foundational thing. And I just really hope that the other people that I'm sending these letters to really like that idea as well. Now one quick thing is I am donating my entire lab to this idea. I am willing to sacrifice it all to get this thing started. I'm not really sacrificing it, I'm just actually relocating it. I'm going to have access to it, same with anyone. And what I'm also asking for here is if, uh, if anyone in the community wants to donate to this project, it'd be greatly accepted. It doesn't just have to be money. I would love to get some old equipment, even spare components. A bag of resistors could go a long way in this learning process. And if anyone is willing to do that, please just send me a personal message on my YouTube channel and let's get this project rolling together. Now, if this project doesn't turn out as how I expected, you know, the letter goes in and everyone just huddles towards the idea, I plan to go Shawshank Redemption on this and write a letter a day to get this in motion. So let's just see how it goes, but I'll keep you updated on the progress. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you have yourselves a great day. And just at the end here, I'm going to just have the actual letter and you guys can just read it if you are curious to what I actually said in my statement. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching.